<gasps> Over there by the sofa. Freeze! Man, it's just a rat in the pizza. Oh, gross, man. May I go to the bathroom? Good idea. Let's check the shop, man. Dodd, man, you got cops' ears. Oh. Thanks. Uh, but I just want to throw up. Get hold of yourself, Dodd. No time for that. Besides, it's not hygienic, mama. Let's eyeball this disgusting den of iniquity. Yeah, and then let's go gleeve some Cubano Chinese. That pizza box is making me hungry, man. I guess the felons fled. Ooh, I hate them so much. Are you absolutely positive this place is empty? Well, you got vibes, Mama. Are you kidding, man? Molly Dodd's got the best vibes in New York City. Yeah, Paco, I can see that, man. I got eyes. No, 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 wait, wait. I got a feeling. Over there, behind the Murphy bed. There? Excellent, that Dodd, man. You can be my partner anytime. Come out, hands where I can see them. You're never gonna take us alive, pig. Watch out, Hawthorne, the first sleaze bag's got a gun! She's got a tape recorder, Grace, sir! Are you getting this, Molly? Molly! No, I'm getting it, Pete! I'm getting it! I'm getting it, Pete! Molly? Oh, hi. Are you up next? Uh, no way. I think we're gonna be here all day. What do you think? Well, it's Yarn Yarnell, so anything's possible. Yarn Yarnell? He's the judge. Talks a blue streak. Can't shut him up. He gets going, boy. And kiss your grits goodbye. Yeah, we, gotta, we gotta transfer to homicide, brother. The judges are much better there. I doubt it, man. Cases are more interesting, though. Molly, be great for your book, too. Homicide kicks robbery's ass any day. Check out this case I heard about from a buddy of mine up in the 2-4. A slice, dice, and boil. You know, I can't figure the perp on that one. The perp? Perpetrator. The perpetrator, right. Oh, boy. You know, I love all this lingo. Yeah, I can't figure the perp either, man. Molly, if you were going to kill somebody, tell me the truth. Would you slice off their ears and watch them bleed to death? It wouldn't be my first choice. Pete, I bet it was some kind of a ritual killing, man. Hey, given what he did to the genitals? The genitals? Oh, I got some pictures here somewhere. The homicide buddy laid them on me. Look for the Dios, I know I got those pics. Ah, here you go. Check this action out. Is this what you guys do to while away the hours at the courthouse? Look at grisly photographs? Nothing else to do. In fact, we collect them, swap them, and sell them. Say, man, I got a subway dismemberment. I want to trade you for this slice and dice. Oh, no way, man. No, I'm way overstocked on subway gore. Oh. Well, we think about food a lot, too. Speaking of which, uh, Molly, could you run out? I wouldn't ask, but we're stuck here for the duration. Well, sure. I just promise me I won't miss anything. Trust me, nothing's going down here for hours. All right. What do you want? Decaf, black, no sugar. Mm. Chief? Oh, yeah, bring me a, a coffee, very sweet, very light. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and a couple of jelly donuts. Oh, and you know when you lift the lid off the pastry plate? Well, sort of squeeze the jelly donuts real easy, like. Uh, and bring me the freshest, okay? Okay. Here's a five. Gracias. I'll see you later. Don't testify without me. Police work. Pretty exciting, huh? Just like I pictured it. Shut up, man.
my buddies asked me how I could ever become a cop. I mean, Hawthorne, you a cop, man. Where is that at? I tell them good pension and early retirement. And hell, pretty women are attracted to, to men who take risks, especially undercover cops. Exhibit A sitting right in front of me. So what's the real reason? The truth? Mm-hmm. Well, you go in thinking that Somehow you can actually make a difference that... Me, I figured that, that, that it really mattered for African-American people that I was on the streets. I don't know, you know, you know it was a way to fight back against the sickness that, that was just eating the city up from the inside, you know? But it sounds like you don't believe that anymore. Well, you wake up real fast. You see things, you, you, you get called things, you, you learn there's a whole world of hate out there. And you learn real fast that, uh, that you can't take any of that personally. And yet here you are, still a cop. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. You, 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 you know, you go on doing it because of something you maybe believed in a whole long time ago. Then something changes. Something happens like today, you know. Two punks with a gun wind up in the same place as my girl. And I realize that... that my rage is bigger than theirs. I gotta be honest here. I'm not thinking about due process, man. I'm thinking about revenge. I'm thinking about hurting somebody the way they almost hurt you. <laughs> and then I got to cool out. Because the more you think about going over that line, one of these days it's gonna happen. And then all of a sudden, you're part of a problem that, that you spent your life trying to solve. This is for you. This, this is not for anybody else. No, I know. I understand. How about you and me go and get some dinner after work, huh? Yeah, I'd like that. Just the two of us. There isn't enough space to double park in this neighborhood. Hey, Hawthorne, man, the Admiral here has a problem. Not till you showed up. How you doing, Davey? Evening, Detective. I see you met my partner, Uribe. Yeah, so we're blessed with two detectives on the premises tonight. Yeah, I ought to make Molly feel real safe. Uh, Miss Dodd certainly wasn't safe earlier today with a couple of detectives around. No, it wasn't even like that. You sent her off alone and unprotected to a questionable part of town. We feel real bad about that. That's why we're here. We thought we might be able to boost her up a bit. Hacked chicken, boiled goat, okra, black-eyed peas, Bahama mama. My man, you got a cop's nose. <laughs> a word of warning. She should avoid excessive amounts of salt, fat, and grease. Do me a favor, push the vegetables. And make sure she doesn't consume any liquor, no matter how upset she is. You got it. I wish my dog man looked out for me like that. Hey, I wish I had a doorman. You got some competition. I think the Admiral's got eyes for your lady. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you didn't need any go, man. I got it special for you. Hey, man, I got you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got my goat, all right. <laughs> okay, Uribe, goat. Are you sure? No, goat, not a goat. Listen, <sighs> yeah, that kitchen's gonna bring me the dessert, would you? Ah, halva. Oh man, I love this stuff. It's a good test of whether you need to see a dentist. If your fillings fall out, then you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don, man, seen some action today, huh? Oh, well, that I did. You okay? Yeah, well, it just made me realize how fast things can be taken away. 
I stood in the back of the deli, feeling that my life had barely started, and now it was going to be snatched away, you know, just like that. And how do you guys live with that? Hey, that's the job. So we get paid not enough money to do so, we do it. <laughs> it's okay, Molly. He'd rather face a punk with a piece than a personal question. Hey, Molly, seen some action? You in the club now. Oh, thanks. I'll wait for the annual meeting. Oh, come on, one dance. Let that thing go. Those creeps are a million miles away. <sighs> yeah. You've got to think about it. And you don't got it. Huh? It's all in the hips. Maybe your neighbors aren't in the merengue, Molly. You think I should turn it down? You can cut in any time you want, you know. Well, thanks, man. I'm deep. I am, too. Uh, this music is a little too much for a white girl from Long Island. Come on, you were doing great. <sighs> Boy, what a day. Yeah. I'm glad it's over. Oh, man, nothing's over, man. The night is still young. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever been to SOBs? Oh, it's incredible, man. One cab ride, and you're in a different country. Come on, man. Let's vamonos, man. We gotta buy the drinks. We'll dance. You know, you're gonna fall in love with this place, man. You're gonna have to tell me about it tomorrow when I see you at work. Oh, man. If I didn't know you so good, I swear you were telling me to leave. <laughs> See, that's what makes him such an ace detective. I mean, intuition, just like he's inside your head. Nothing gets past you, Rebe. Nothing. I mean, you guys look like an old married couple, like, like you've been married for a thousand years. Say, man, the song is over with. But I'll help you clean up. Hey, vamonos, amigo. I'm a memory man. You are so strict. <laughs> now you, Dad, you're something special. You're not so bad yourself, you rebate. Man, this guy, he don't know how lucky he is, man. I know how lucky he is. The doorman downstairs, he knows how lucky he is, but he don't know. I gotta listen to this guy rap all day, and now I gotta listen to it all night. I should get time and a half for just eating dinner with you. Bet they bought to casa, huh? Okay, well, that's all right. Well, you know, man. <laughs> for you, Don. Yes, you know, it's for protection, you know? <laughs> 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 Buenas noches. What is this? Keep you safe. Nate, are you asleep? Huh? Oh, you're not asleep, are you? No. No, I was, of course not. I was just lying here in bed with my eyes closed. I was resting. I'm good, because I didn't want to wake you. So, I can hear your little mind spinning away over there. It's just the way it happened today. I, it was just so random, so arbitrary. If I'd been there five minutes earlier, I would have been out of the deli. I never would have even known it happened. And if I hadn't decided to buy an Orangina, and if the refrigerator didn't just happen to be at the back of the store, well, I mean, I would have been standing right there at the counter when the guys came in, and who knows? I mean, maybe they would have shot me just because I was in the way. You're alive. Feel lucky. Hmm. Plus, in this particular case, <laughs> you're the luckiest person in the whole world. Oh, really? Why is that? Well, 
tomorrow morning, you're gonna wake up right next to me. <laughs> I think that I was supposed to say that. Hey, pick up your cues, Molly. I can't wait forever. <laughs> Sleep well. Uh. What would you have done if those two kids had killed me? I mean, what would you do? I don't know. I don't like to think about things like that. Mm. Oh. Would you start dating again right away? <laughs> well, I'd have to get over the pain somehow. Oh, I see. And how soon would you start dating again? I don't know. Sure would hate to have to go to your funeral all alone. You wouldn't want that, would you? <laughs> and no, take your rebate, you know? I mean, he thinks I'm special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good night, Mom. Do you think it would be too much to have some of my poetry read at my funeral? Or would it seem pretentious, or would it just be totally pathetic, like... She only had one lousy poem published the whole time she was alive, and now we know why. <laughs> Good night, dog, man. <laughs> Good night, Mr.